Yo guys, what is going on? Numnex is here bringing you guys another Wi-Fi battle I had against a guy called Jordan. I tweeted out that I wanted a battle and he was the first guy that got to me so make sure guys if you want to battle me just to tweet at me when I say I'm available. Not just like anytime but when I'm available because I am a pretty busy guy as well as that. So enough with that. Uh, he had a really interesting team. I kind of figured that'd be a baton passing team. Baton passing out to either this Jolteon Chandelure or his Gyarados working around those three guys as well as having two walls So it's a pretty standard uh, Core he's got going on there for Baton Pass, but I d definitely did not want to work around it I need the Jolteon and the Gyarados gun as well as the Mandibuzz just was annoying But I needed that gun. I needed those two gun and you're gonna end up seeing that my lead Diggersby does not end up working out as I figured out it would end up working out to be. So I'm going to lead off with the Diggersby. As we lead off with Chandelure, I was expecting a Scolipede. But uh, he ends up going for the Energy Ball and that one shots me. Now, I was shocked because I was Scarf Diggersby. But then that just kind of points out that he Scarf Chandelure. So I more long expected him to be like a bulkier set with leading off with it. Or maybe a Choice Spec set. But it doesn't end up happening. As he's going to go out to his Chansey. Very obvious. I just want to get damage off on it. As I know that I could have side shock, but I brought the wrong Latias. This Latias is my Specs one, and my side shock one is my X Repel one. But I'm gonna come up to my Scizor here. I know that I can wall each and every way. As I know he's probably gonna want to get out of here. So what I'm gonna do is Mega Evolve and U-turn on anything that he wants to come out to. And this is my defensive Scizor, max HP, max defense, impish nature, and it really gets the job done. It takes hits just about it from anything. Uh, except for a fire move of course and it can it take stone edge really well so mega scissor is crazy bulky <laughs> i can't even explain it more than that but i'm gonna go for the draco here i am choice specs modest ends up not killing mandibuzz is way too bulky i cannot believe he was nu and ru in like fifth gen i i don't know why he was this guy is a bulky tank but uh, he's gonna get out of here and i expected him to get out of here but I didn't expect a Chandelure. I really did not. I guess uh, he's running like a bulky Scarf set. So uh, maybe he's max HP, max special attack, modest uh, Scarf. I have no idea. But I uh, took the Dragon Pulse a little better than I thought it would. So maybe he's got some HP investment. I know that my special attack dropped. But at the same time, took a little bit better. As I completely forgot my dumb self that he has a Poison Pokemon. So again, I played terrible in this match. But I ended up somehow uh, pulling through that he's going to go... I ended up pulling through somehow, but I'm gonna go for the seismic toss on the school Pete trying to get damage because I know that if he wants a baton pass out into someone and I kill that person he baton passes out into, he's gonna want to bring it back immediately and put up a swords in as well as a speed boost and try and sweep with this guy himself. So that was my mind process and my mindset on what he was going to do with the Scolipede. As he now brings up the Gyarados, very, very obvious. I'm going to go for the seismic toss just to get damage off on it because you know he's going to be the Mega, of course. And this thing is way too powerful, so if I had Diggersby, I wouldn't really be too worried. I have the Choice Band, I mean the Choice Scarf Quick Attack, huge power. It still does good damage to Scarf, so I would not be too worried. As I'm going to get the Toxic off on the Mega Gyarados, I was very confident I could take one hit. Unless he had, like, Super Power. I don't even know if Gyarados can learn Super Power, but uh, unfortunately for me, he gets to create. It did not end up mattering at all. That was definitely going to take me out from that range as that does way more than half the first time, so it was going to take me out. I bring up my Latias, questionable play, I probably should have came with the Scizor right away, but he had a Chandelure as well as a Gyarados and a Jolteon, all of which outspeed me, and uh, you're later going to see the Jolteon has Shadow Ball, so there was no reason to keep that thing alive. As I'm going to come out to the man of the hour, the Scizor, and I'm going to eat up any hit that he has to give out. As you can see, that does half, a little bit above half, like 52%, but that's a plus two Mega Gyarados. That is crazy. I took that hit very well. I could have gone for the Bullet Punch here, but he does resist it, so I did not want to go for it. As I'm going to go for the Roost yet again, and I'm going to get myself back almost at half. I mean, almost at full HP, seven points away, as his Mega Gyarados is going to go down. Now, that thing was making me crap my pants. I am very lucky that I killed it. I went for the Bullet Punch here, expecting him to Shadow Ball because it is a hard hit on just about my entire team. He ends up locking himself into Fire Blast. Now, I don't know what he was thinking, but I guess um, he's not really too worried about my Keldeo. So, I'm assuming that he thinks I'm a Scarf Keldeo. 
but he gets out of here he probably could have outsped me and gotten damage off and then sacked it that would have been the better play to do but he decides to keep it around as i'm gonna go for the hp ghost he expected it to be ice uh, he gets a mega horn off of me and what i do is i actually over predict here predicting his chance to come out uh, sneaking out with hp ghost but i guess he doesn't know about the expert belt set so it's completely understandable as uh that was a very dumb prediction on my part. I, I'm assuming he just wanted to sack it off and get damage because uh, he had no one else to baton pass it out into. So I guess I probably should have not over predicted that at all. Again, I, I did play bad in this battle, but I'm gonna come up to my glide score here. I know he doesn't have the hidden power ice, which I'm assuming because I know a lot of people like myself do not enjoy breeding. So they don't wanna breed for like a long time and get hidden power on it, so it's not worth it. As he has a Shadow Ball over the Hidden Power Eyes, I'm assuming he has Shadow Ball and Signal Beam, which most carry, and are going to be able to take out that Jolteon. So, my Keldeo is just chilling here, and it's going to be able to do uh, quite the work to his team now, except for the Chansey. Now, my plan here is, I know he has a Chandelure left, as well as a Chansey, and right now he's winning 3-2. to two. My only plan here is to Toxic Stall out the Mandibuzz. Now, if he had Aromatherapy on his Chansey, I probably would have ended up having to stall him out with the Earthquake and him not touching me. But he goes to the knockoff here, doesn't even break the sub. Uh, Gliscor is way too bulky and the funny thing is, I have absolutely no physical defense like EVs at all. Uh, turns out my friend gave me this Gliscor and then I ended up having a weird EV spread, I didn't check it till like after this battle, but there's a weird EV spread of HP and speed. I don't really know why. I really don't, but uh, it really could have messed me up, but I'm lucky for me. It doesn't end up messing me up in this battle, which is why I did not bring it out in the Gyarados, if you guys are wondering. Uh, or the Scolipede. I, I I thought Scolipede had, like, I don't even know. Scolipede is just weird. He baton passes out a lot, but um, I'm going to just stall him out. I have the substitute. I am subtoxic, which if he had a Skarmory would have been problematic. I probably just start using my other Goliath score, maybe train one, but he's going to go for the foul play here, trying to get damage off of me. I run, uh, actually, I run no attack investment at all, so unlike every Goliath score, but I am going to be able to take that hit very well. My sub is still intact. <laughs> I felt kind of bad because all I left, all I had left to do to win this match was to stall him out. Now, the biggest thing that happened was right here. I had to look it up, but Chandelure no longer has Shadow Tag, but Infiltrator, which breaks through the sub. That might have done a lot of damage if he could have had Infiltrator, but he ends up having Flash Fire, and that is really, really, really unfortunate for him. I did expect him to have the Infiltrator just the way he sent it in, but I guess he didn't have it. Now, if he did have it, I would have been a huge problem. I still would have lived, but it would have been a huge problem. As he goes for the Egg Bomb, I've never seen that in Chansey. He's going to end up forfeiting knowing that he can't do anything anymore with two walls. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Also, make sure to answer the question of the day. Do you guys think Genesect should be banned right back up to Uber? There's been a lot of controversy about that. Personally, I say no. What about you guys? And if you guys enjoy uh, everything, just leave a like. And until next time, guys, I will catch you all later.